my last deployment to Afghanistan. We landed at the target objective. Suddenly a, a gunshot went off. I remember looking up at the sky, just wondering what happened. I started hearing this gurgling sound and I, I look at my, my right shoulder and my right arm and there's just blood drenched down it. The medics responded very quickly. We walked to the medevac helicopter. I remember coughing up blood. And that was kind of the moment where I started to get scared. The surgeon was working on his knees with only a headlamp to see. He found the, the pulmonary vein that was bleeding, sutured it. I think it was an hour and a half flight to the hospital, but by the time we arrived, I had been kind of stabilized. I wouldn't be here if all these people from the surgeon, the, the medics, and the nurse anesthetists, this continuous commitment to advance military medicine is, is the reason I'm alive. Those who volunteer to serve in the military are a special breed of American. They are prepared to give wholly of themselves to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies. The purview of military medicine is to make sure that we provide the medicines, knowledge, products, and policy to help these individuals perform optimally under austere and grueling conditions. In 1983, Congress authorized the establishment of HGF. The vision Congress had for us was to advance military medicine for the purposes of both military and civilian health. HGF has over 3,000 personnel comprised of MDs and PhDs, laboratory technicians, administrative support, and back office personnel. We are agile, we're scalable, we're in almost every state of the country and over 19 countries across the globe. HJF covers a broad array of research categories from combat casualty care to behavioral health to what I focus on most, which is infectious diseases. When we were dealing with this pandemic in early 2020, it was an unprecedented time and we didn't know what we were up against. All we knew was we needed to respond quickly with the information we had to support our government partners and our military partners. And this required speed and flexibility. That was flexibility in hiring, flexibility in purchasing, flexibility in changing directions of our research, all at the same time. And that just wouldn't have been possible without the donations that came in. HGF is uniquely positioned as a not-for-profit authorized by Congress. We can administer federal funds with the military to conduct research, but we can pivot as a civilian organization, receive donations from individuals, corporations, and other entities to purchase the needed equipment, devices, and other material to advance military medicine quicker than it can on the federal funds alone. The initial COVID response was just being able to roll out rapid, high throughput automated testing. We've also focused a large amount of our efforts to vaccine development, building on a history of vaccine development against other infectious disease pathogens. And last but certainly not least is treatment of those infected with COVID. HJF ultimately supports global health because a virus or a pathogen cannot distinguish who is in uniform and who isn't. I was very thankful to have received the opportunity to work with HJF. I was a lab assistant. My motivation to pursue medicine as a career is directly because of what happened to me. HJF's commitment to advancing military medicine it saves lives. What that means to me is giving someone else like me a second chance at life. The demands on the military are changing year after year. It's a dynamic, volatile environment. We ask you to join us as a fellow American. Your support makes advances in military medicine possible. Saves warfighter and civilian lives. And impacts the health of all Americans. Please do what you can. Stand with us to serve those who are serving our nation.